The month of March is a time of great significance for many anglers in Scotland. For March 15th marks the opening of the brown trout season and the end of a five and a half month hiatus. It will be some weeks yet before the river shakes off its winter slumber, but signs of the coming of spring are everywhere. While the fishing can be slow in these opening weeks of the season, there's always a chance that somewhere something might just happen. What's happening folks? Welcome back to a new video and a brand new season. It's a beautiful sunny day, just a puff of wind and I'm sitting here on the banks of a river watching a fairly decent hatch of olives and uh, just uh, hoping and praying really that the fish start looking upwards soon and we get a bit of a rise and I can throw some dry flies at them. I actually started fishing uh, earlier this morning and managed to catch my first brown trout of the season on a hare's ear nymph, which was absolutely fantastic. So the pressure's off, <laughs> the monkey's off my back, and now the thing that would make me really, really happy would be catching a fish on a dry fly, because I never feel like the season really gets started, officially anyway, until you catch one on the dry fly. So Tackle-wise, I've got a new rod uh, out today. I've got a Gray's GR80 Streamflex. That's the nine foot four weight version. And, you know, I've already been throwing, you know, heavily weighted nymphs under an indicator and I've even thrown a streamer with a 5.5mm bead and it's uh, handled them perfectly. Um, and now I've switched up to an um, 18 foot leader with a big uh, yellow mayfly imitation. And I had a few practice casts and uh, it really does turn over the, the long leader very, very well. And hopefully I'll get to see how it performs uh, with a big fish on the end of the line. So it's uh, all about the waiting game now. Keeping my fingers crossed, keeping my eyes peeled, and uh, hoping for a bit of action. afternoon was a bit of a disappointment you know um yeah I was expecting a bit of a rise to be honest um I did find one fish that came up you know two or three times um over the course of half an hour um but uh ultimately I put a dry fly over it and uh, couldn't get it to take I have to keep reminding myself it was minus three this morning so that's the thing about early in the season there's always plenty more days to look forward to 
And on that note, uh, I'm looking forward to my next adventure. As many of you will know, I have a real passion for urban fly fishing. And early season, I always like to reacquaint myself with my local trout stream, the White Cart Water in the south side of Glasgow. Be nearly ready. Maybe not. So much power, these fish, my goodness. Nice fish. I've just actually caught a glimpse of this fish and uh, it's a good one. It's rising quite deliberately, um, quite consistently in the same area, so it's getting jinglered. Take it, take it. Just took a fly inches away from mine. <gasps> Wait for it to drift out of the way. No! How did it miss it? Yeah. 
it must have watched and watched that come down and then it's missed it. Did it reject it at the last minute? What happened? Right, so I know it's not spooked, but it's not rising anywhere near as often as it was before. So I'm going to look at the places where I've seen it rise and I'm going to do dry dropper. I've got a pheasant tail nymph just tied under my jingler and I'm going to methodically work my way up and hope to get a reaction from it. At this stage, I don't think it's going to uh, go back to rising quite how it was before, so the best I can hope to do is put my flies in an area um, and get it to react. Let's see how we get on. Oh, it's a stotar. What, what a good fish. <gasps> Please stay on. Oh my god. It's going bananas. Oh, I don't want it over there. Oh no, it's got wrapped up. Totally wrapped up, is it still on? And it's off. Oh. Well, <laughs> I don't really know what to say about that. That was a trip of about two pounds. Very, very decent fish and I got snagged up in there and kicked my arse. <laughs> oh, I thought I was going to be able to get it out, you know, it was, um, yeah, the, the line was all wrapped up under there and I, I tried to get over and um, get the net under it, but then it got wrapped around my feet and then, yeah, curtains. I tell you what though, that's the first dry fly eat of the season. So, much as I would love to have shown the fish to you because it was absolutely beautiful, it was a stoter. I guess I'm just going to have to pat myself on the back for getting a fish to take uh, this early in the season. Anyway, this is urban fishing. Big one on the streamer, even better one on the dry fly, and uh, wrapped up in a rock covered in <laughs> some sort of building material, <laughs> and away it goes. Such is life. Anyway, carry on up the river, see if we can uh, find another one. So thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next adventure.